Hi, I'm Parvati Raghuram, Professor of Geography and Migration at the Open University. I'm also the Principal Investigator of the Arts and Humanities Research Council project, Decolonizing Education for Peace in Africa. This project begins from the idea that we should focus on peace rather than conflict in Africa and to build our premises, our projects, on the already existing values and knowledges of peace that people live through and enact in their everyday lives. It focuses, therefore, on everyday peace in African communities. This gives us an opportunity to look at values, skills, and knowledges that are required in peace and how to apply these already existing knowledges in peace education programs and in overall education, to look at this as education for peace, to embed this in forms of teaching and through pedagogy in different subject areas for different groups across multiple countries in Africa. We currently have 14 projects across 12 countries, and the projects have a mixture of NGOs, arts, activists, educators, and partners both in the UK and in the countries in which the research is being conducted. And the projects use a variety of arts methods such as storytelling, photo voice and soundscapes. And the materials that are generated through this build educational materials, which really emphasize the knowledges and values that already existed in these conflict communities. And it embeds them in the teaching at different levels. So from 11 to 14 year olds and from those who are older people as well as for adults. And the aim here is to then use these to build a peace education framework, which is offered on the continent free of charge through open educational resources, which are held at UNISA, the University of South Africa, and so that all that knowledge stays in the continent and for the continent. And that is part of our decolonial promise. I'm a wonder. Ragara had the Gata Hala, son of Mahayer Baba, Mahayabwaza, Mogor Nosteta, Ma Nigeria. My name is uh, Joseph Hadagata Hala, a speaker Glada from Arbuko village, Boza local government, Borno State, Nigeria. Glada is spoken by only 100,000 people, mostly in northeastern Nigeria and the northern part of Cameroon. Uh, it is the language that is becoming instant. So Deva project in Abuja is working with Glavda speaking elders living in internally displaced persons camps who have been uh, displaced as a result of insurgents. Uh, we want to uh, know their stories and their knowledge about peace for uh, to be had now and uh, for future. Deba is working with uh, Glavda elderly speaking people in order to preserve our culture, traditions, norms and values. Glavda people are peace loving people and we want to pass this to our generation. We don't want our generation to go outside our norms and traditions because our norms and traditions are teaching good moral values to our younger ones. So help, uh, DEPA is helping us to in preserving those norms and uh, culture so that we can pass it to our children. <laughs> Dunia, <laughs> 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 
O, o projeto uh, do transativismo, a partir uh, de uma metodologia do Photo Voice, procura escolher experiências de pessoas que são afetadas por conflito, mas também são grupos marginalizados. Né? E a partir dessas experiências, pensarmos numa perspectiva ou numa estratégia de educação para a paz que inclua, que inclua grupos também marginalizados que são afetados por violência, também num contexto de hipermasculinidade, mas também num contexto de dominação masculina. Então, nós pretendemos olhar a partir de uma perspectiva da cidade de Maputo, mas também queremos olhar por um contexto que é diretamente afetado pelo conflito, que é a província de Nampula. E a partir daí, ver se podemos empoderar, através de iniciativa de ativismos, estas comunidades que são trans, né, que são parte da comunidade LGBT, para entrar no processo de discussão uh, de educação para nós. Hi, my name is Volin Chavele. I'm from South Africa. I'm a percussionist specializing in indigenous African instruments. I'm a composer, uh, producer, and a singer. For me, Sounds Escape is an interpretation of um, uh, the mood and the feeling, you know, how you feel, you know, but, but you interpret that through music. You know, working with a community, we go through their, their, their daily uh the instant feeling and we interpret that we interpret that through through the music and the instruments where, where i come from and uh, i i grew up from the rural areas and then we have different way of interpreting music and music can can tell the story in many ways so the sounds escape uh, escapes can can really define the moment of tension or, or happiness and the moment of clash through sounds escape uh, I, I, I was able to to you know, to feel and to share with with community and 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 and, and combine them together through through you know you know through through music. You know, we we, we get together, we play um, different types of, of of instruments or body percussion. You know, we make we we, we create a sounds escape through any, anything that is around us. Like it can be a body percussion. We can clap. We can stamp on our feet, and 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 sometimes we do polyrhythm pattern in groups, and or, or the, this part, this, this group will play this melody, and the other one play this melody, and we combine together as one song, and that kind of symbolizes peace. That's 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 unity. My name is Grace Mvunyi Shimiomkiza. I work for a refugee-led organization called uh, Youth Education and Sports um, as a social-emotional learning coordinator. The different ways of, uh, of defining peace within a humanitarian context is very important because, uh, one, uh, we're talking about um, the, the, the act of bringing in the participatory action, you know, that act, aspect of uh, having every uh, refugee participate in defining what peace means within their own context or within uh, their own nature. And number two, it's about the voices. For so many years, people have been relying on literature reviews uh, to define what peace means and you know what peace education is within you know the traditional classroom but now when it comes to the refugee context we really need to have the voice of the refugees being heard in defining what they would define peace to mean to them and how they would want to uh, to be educated on peace education
Ahin model challenges the traditional uh, model of peace education because of the uh, of its three components that's the art sports and engineering it's through those three pillars or components that we are able to define um peace education and also are able to uh to uh, to input the competencies such as the social self awareness uh you know responsible decision making social awareness and all the other comp- comp- competencies that are found within the social emotional learning wheel My name is Yaso Amante. I work for Family Guide Association of Ethiopia on the position of Eastern Area Manager. I think we have uh, in our program which is called Parent Use Dialogue Session. Uh, we need to bring the parents with their children and have some conversations uh, with them what their children want to be in the future. Uh, and what the the reality is on the ground and uh, to reduce or to remove the existing uh, traditional practices that inhibits the young uh, girls especially from attending their schools we need to work on women empowerment we have uh, a girls club and the gender club at every school so through the discussion, the parent use dialogue is very important. Uh, the photo voice exhibition is uh, what we have learned unique from this project. When they look at the photo, they see what is in their local area, but they relate that with sexual and gender-based violence and how it is existing in their area, and they will design maybe how to tackle it or how to remove it from their local community. We want to continue uh, in the future because the photo based exhibition through that uh, session we have learned a lot and also the community and the school principals are requesting to have a photo tour, a photo voice tour in their schools. Deepa will connect, compare and create knowledge and skills about peace and edu- peace education across these different projects so that it can help to develop educational tools and resources for teachers in multiple countries in Africa but also to flip this and to provide some educational material about Africa from Africa for use for teachers in the UK and we hope that that will make a lasting legacy which will connect education systems across the two continents